Welcome back. As we've been reporting on the 20th anniversary of fashion designer Johnny Versace's murder, another anniversary is upon us the day his killer, Andrew Cunanan, was found. CBS 4's Jim DeFitti caught up with the man who led police to Andrew Cunanan. No, the police not found. I found them. They found the body because we called, because I called. At 91, Fernando Carrera is still as feisty as he was 20 years ago. The police look for him. The police did lousy job. I know, I'm afraid to talk. I like to say the truth. On July 23rd, 1997, eight days after Gianni Versace was gunned down on the steps of the South Beach mansion, Carrera was checking on a houseboat at Collins Avenue near 54th Street. As he opened the door, he noticed something was wrong. A lot of time, I pulled the gun. Same gun. Same gun. It was clear to him someone was inside. At that moment, when I give you all in one step, I give all in one step with a gun like that, boom. So I run the railway, my, my wife and my, myself, we run out because we thought that somebody shot at me. I see, I don't, I don't see no one, but somebody uh, have a shoot at me. Were you scared? At that time, yeah. well, I heard the boom, yes. Because sure. I thought that somebody tried to shoot at me, he can miss it. They said, I, they, somebody shoot me, he missed it. The man inside the houseboat was Andrew Cunanan. And rather than shooting at Carrera, we now know that when he heard Carrera enter the house, Cunanan killed himself, fearing it was the police coming to arrest him. They killed himself because he saw me with the gun. If he don't see me with the gun, he don't kill, he don't kill himself, maybe kill me. After fleeing the houseboat, Carrera called police, who eventually stormed the boat and found Cunanan in an upstairs bedroom with a single shot to the head. Overnight, Carrera became the most famous caretaker in the country. This is Versace. This is Kunana. Today, the walls of his tiny South Beach apartment are lined with newspaper clippings. He even made the front page of a newspaper in Portugal, where he was born. This is myself when they give me the money. Carrera collected $50,000 in rewards, but that money is long gone now. It was a very bad investment, and I lose the money, I lose everything. That's all I can say. Still married after 41 years, Carrera understands that he will always be known as the caretaker who found Gianni Versace's killer. Sure, I'm proud. I did a good thing for the, for, for the country, for everybody, because that guy was done for everybody. The guy was a big criminal. He killed five people. Jim DeFeedy, CBS 4 News. Such an important and interesting chapter in South Florida history. CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy takes a look back at the life, legacy, and questions that still linger since the fashion icon's death. Watch the Versace murder, a South Beach story, tomorrow at 7 p.m.